Hello Brewtubers! This is Homebeer Brewery with another Homebrew Wednesday video. Today I'm going to brew a batch of all grain beer with my own fresh hops. I don't know anything about that hops. I bought it for 4 euros. Small little plants. And uh, now I have a lot of hop cones on them. and. Uh, I'm just going to try it. I'm going to take five or six times more wet hops, fresh hops, than dried hops or pellets. So I will calculate that. But um, for the rest, I don't know anything about that hops. No alpha acids or uh, something. This is my total grain bill. There's four and a half kilogram of uh, pale malt, a little bit of uh, Munich malt, I believe 200 grams and 100 grams of um, Special B. I'm going to mash at uh, 67 degrees for uh, 60 to 90 minute, minutes. And um, I will do a hop addition at the 60 minute boil. So 60 minutes left on the boil. 30 minutes left on the boil and 5 minutes left on the boil. That is going to be the aroma hops. I'm going to use Cefail US 04. There stands 05, but I'm going to use 04. So it's time to clean all the equipment and my mask then. The manifold. Time to crack the brains. Did I say brains? No, it's not right. Time to crack the grains and pick my fresh hops. Hey, crack tube, watch this. I wish everybody a happy homebrew Wednesday. Please stay tuned. First time picking my own hops. Look at this guys, it's my own hops. I wish you can smell this. They smell really really nice. What I didn't realize is that uh, picking those hops is uh, time consuming. So I will wait for the dough in till I uh, gather all the hops. Then I will uh, start the mash and heating up the strike water. So uh, hang on a minute. I have the strike water ready. It's time to dough in the grains. The strike water is 73 degrees and when I add the grains I think the temperature will drop to 67, 68 degrees or something. The grains are about 18 degrees. There we go. Looks like a really nice crush. I'm going to stir very well to avoid the dough balls and uh, you know it. 
and we'll put the lid on and uh, check the temperature over one minute. So in about one minute I'm going to check the temperature. Whoops, my spoon is gone. Take a look at that. Awesome keyboard. My burner didn't work anymore. I'm out of gas. So always make sure you have a spare. Gas. Like this little one that I have. Otherwise, I have a huge problem. 25 liters of almost boiling water that is going to be worthless. And this is also very important information. When you're brewing, you have to drink a home brew. That's the rule. Look at this. This is the Glen Amber Ale with a huge head on it. Nice color. Good carbonation. You can smell the hops and the specialty grains. Remember, always drink a homebrew while brewing one. I'm almost at the 25.7 liters mark. There we have my hop additions. 60 minutes, 30 minutes and about what did I calculate? And 5 minutes aroma hops. So uh, this is all together 600 grams of fresh hops. A couple of hours ago it was hanging over there. And now it's time to put it in the boil kettle. There we go. First hop edition. First time ever using fresh hops. There it goes. I'll take a spoon. Oh, that smells amazing. Thirty minutes left on the boil. It's time to add a second hop addition. There it goes. Fifteen minutes left on the boil. Now it's time to add the Irish moss. I have 15 grams of Irish moss and 10 grams of orange peel and a little bit of coriander, also 10 grams. So there it goes. Right into the boil kettle. And also the last hop addition. No, that's wrong. I have to put in the emergent chiller. I have it here, sanitized and everything. So 15 minutes left on the boil. I'm going to add my stainless steel word chiller. I need a spoon to get the hot bags in the center of the There it goes. One moment, take a look. Now I'm going to stop the time and wait a couple of minutes. 
because the world uh, temperature is uh, going down when you uh, put in a cold water chiller. So I will uh, stop the time of boiling and uh, when it's boiling again it will remain 15 minutes left on the boil. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of uh, yeast nutrient. Now I'm adding the aroma hops. There it goes. 200 grams of my own fresh hops. Look at the color. Green. Boiling time is over. I'm going to kill the flame. Turn the gas off. Add cold water to the emerging chiller. There it comes. I'm going to cover it up because it damn flies smelling the bird from 10 miles away. And a medium foil is uh, really cheap over here. Not expensive. So. The word is about 24 degrees and I'm going to transfer it into the, you know me, the sanitized fermenter, sanitized hose and um, let's give it a try. As you can see I have a starting gravity of 1.050. And it was calculated on 1.052. I'm happy with that. It's time for a homebrew again. I cleaned everything. Everything is back in place. I pitched the yeast at uh, 24 degrees. And it's now a couple of hours later. I did some groceries and uh, other stuff. Um, about three hours later and I have already some airlock activity. Don't ask me how it's possible, but it is. Maybe I will show you that later in a, in a video or a photo on Facebook. Look at this, another homebrew. Thanks for watching. I will thank everybody that sent me a picture for the for the photo wall. I know I have to make that thing. I promised you I'm going to hang it over there. Thank you very much for all the, the pictures that I received. Very nice. But I uh, want to tell you I know for sure I forget something. No, I don't know. Uh, a lot of upcoming videos, uh, SCC 1000, the Christmas brew from Brewfarm. I promise you there will be videos, but I'm very busy. I will keep you guys updated about this uh, <laughs> hop experiment. So, um, we speak each other later. I'm rambling. Cheers, happy Humber Wednesday and uh, speak to you soon. And remember, that's very important. Nothing is better than a good homebrew. Cheers!